Basically, if it's not too personal, could you tell us about this Church of Teleology of Multiplex Unity? I found it on the internet. So what function did it have in your meta-religious thought? Technically, it refers to something that I came up with about, I don't know, 40 years ago. When I first started thinking about the CTMU, I thought this is obviously a theory not only of reality, but also of theology. And in particular, it is a meta-religion. It's the core of a meta-religion. So at the time, being unfamiliar with the legal ramifications of calling something a church, I went ahead and called it the Church of Teleology of Multiplex Unity, which has the initials CTMU. I thought it would be a good idea to make the initials of the meta-religion equal those of the theory itself. So that's what I came up with for that purpose. All right, and it, what basically it means teleology is the will of God. So the Church of Teleology means the Church of the Will of God. And then of multiplex unity, that means mu, which describes the identity of reality. So we have the church of the will of God, who is ultimate reality. So that's basically what it means. There is spiritual insight in every part of the world. I don't want people to feel that they have no spiritual insight simply because they've never been exposed to Christianity. All right, what I want is a framework that faithfully mirrors Christianity, but in which everyone's spiritual insight can be interpreted. That will help us unify the world's faiths, and we can move ahead without all kinds of pointless religious conflict that is based on faith alone. The main problem with them is that they have no foundational language. They have scripture, but there is nothing in which you can veridically interpret the scripture. You can't prove that the scripture is valid, okay? It's revealed truth. It's called revealed. In other words, a miracle occurred which convinced certain people and then they passed it on to other people and eventually it got handed down and it is accepted on faith. It is one great big article of faith. The problem happens when those articles of faith begin to diverge irreparably, all right? Which is what we have today, which is why Muslims, for example, want to put to death all the infidels. They think that these divergences of faith are somehow indications of evil. They are not, okay? There are ways to express faith that are inherently different. What we needed to present was a logical framework in which everyone's faith could be interpreted up to its degree of logical consistency. Okay, that's what the CTMU is. The CTMU disprove some religion? Yes. For example, it can disprove the religion of atheism immediately. Religions are always used by the powers that be to control the populace. And that's how they become corrupted. Okay, and most of them are so damn corrupt now that it's going to take a miracle, literally, to bring them back together again and to put them right. And so we have the title of Chris's paper, Meta Religion as the Human Singularity. The mass awakening that we need to bring it all together again and stop everything from falling apart and canceling itself and negating reality. That omega point that right. Wolfgang was talking about. Thank you. It's my pleasure, it's my way of trying to help, and I hope that we all make it, because in the end, we are all one, right? That is, we share the identity of reality itself, which is God, unless we cut ourselves off from God, in which case, all bits are off.